Okay, very happy today to be reviewing uh, our first beer from Allagash uh, Brewing, which is up in Portland, Maine, uh, one of the uh, big New England beers. Uh, founded by a guy named Rob Todd back in the mid-90s. Now, kind of a unique story. The guy um, basically just fell in love with beer like uh, many of us have. Uh, took a lot of trips to Europe and uh, really, really loved kind of the Belgian style. Uh, of, uh, of brewing and noticed that there really wasn't much of that going on in the United States so basically he opened up a brewery in Portland, Maine started out small and uh, then grew and uh, eventually made some uh, really really great Belgian style beers uh, probably the closest thing to a Belgian style brewery uh, you're going to get in the United States is uh, Allagash never been up there but uh, would love to one day uh, head up to uh, Portland, Maine and check out uh, Allagash our first beer is uh, a Belgian-style uh, stout, a uh, Belgian uh, strong dark ale. It's called Allagash Black, a very simply titled. Uh, this is uh, brewed um, with two-row barley uh, as well as a uh, torrified uh, wheat uh, as well, and uh, oats. I believe some of the malts are chocolate and uh, roasted as well. So this is going to be a very dark beer. I'm expecting some chocolate overtones. Um, possibly some coffee kind of smells to it as well. Not quite expecting the traditional, traditional Belgian strong dark ale you might uh, come to uh, expect from some of the Belgian uh, monasteries uh, overseas. However, I could be wrong. So let's grab this and uh, pour. This is a uh, this is a bomber. This is a 25.4 ounce bottle, and we'll put this into a Saint Bernardus chalice, and we'll fill it up to the symbol here. As we see a very thin kind of film to this beer, um, very dark, uh, chocolatey colored. Uh, film is a little bit off-white, maybe a little bit brownish. Uh, and uh, as we swish it around a little bit, we'll see the film clinging to the side of the glass, which means uh, um, very, very full and very textured, and it's going to be uh, probably a very uh, tasteful kind of beer. Uh, this beer is 7.5% alcohol by volume, which is on the low end of your usual Belgian strong dark ale. Usually they range uh, from between 7 all the way up to like 15, so they can be pretty much all over the place. The uh, taste um, of the strong dark ale is obviously going to be a little bit heavier and more full than the uh, Belgian ales, the, uh, the just the Belgian dark ales. So this one is probably going to be a little complex with the malts and the uh, the barleys that are mingling with the oats and stuff like that. So let's grab a sniff of it. Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm getting, uh, maybe it's the fact that it's in the St. Bernardus Chalice, but I'm getting a very uh, distinct uh, hint of almost the, the double, um, maybe the prior eight. A double uh, from St. Bernardus. It kind of is reminding me that I'm, I'm, I'm getting a, definitely a toasted kind of smell, um, a very spicy aroma. Now I'm getting a hint of the chocolate. I wasn't really probably sniffing it too well. Now I'm getting a wow, that's interesting. I'm getting a very like almost tobacco-y smell to it too so it's chocolate uh, and it's probably the roasted malt kind of intermixing with the uh, with the chocolate malt as well so a very very unique kind of uh, smell that's uh, that is reminiscent of a prior eight however not exactly a prior eight you know if you put this in front of me I would say probably not prior eight but something uh, different so very excited to try this now hmm very surprised. This beer is not, you know, it's not quite as full as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a, a pretty complex. Uh, it tastes, it, it's not, not that it isn't complex. It just does not have that sharpness that I uh, come to expect with the Belgian Strong Dark Ales. I'm getting a, dare I say, almost a, it is a stout, but I'm getting almost an American stout taste to it, which is very surprising. I was really uh, expecting more of a, um, of a full kind of Belgian taste, but I'm getting uh, almost a Bell's uh, special cream stout taste to it. Yeah, a very, a very a hint of chocolate. I'm getting a, enough of a portery kind of roasted malt taste to it that fills it a little bit. However, I do have to admit, I think that 
Um, this beer falls a little flat. I mean, it's pretty highly rated. However, uh, would it be a beer that I would get again? I don't know. It's it's somewhat enjoyable. It's a little bit. I, I just want something a little full. Maybe something with a little higher alcohol content would make this a little uh, more of a full beer. Um, that said, it's not awful. And there are people that might like this stuff, but as you know, I'm not a huge stout fan, uh, especially the dry Irish stout. This is not quite this, although it has some overtones of it. It kind of tastes like an American stout, which is um, an offshoot of the uh, dry stout. Um, I would give Allagash Black a 6 out of 10.